Okay, well, here we are. Uh... So, um... Sorry, I'm gonna get to a point where I can hear it, but it's not so loud that it hits in my mic. Okay, well, that uh, starts off what I was going to say about this. Let me adjust this a bit. So, yes, we're playing Pokemon Sun today. Once again, as I've said before, I'm emulating this. So, I've, I've already played through... Since last time, when you saw me play X and Y, I have played through Oras, which also ran incredibly well. This one might have some issues. As we're seeing, oh, I forgot to turn on my light. Hang on one second. Don't worry, it's not mine anymore. I'm in my pajama pants, unlike other times. So, yeah, um, I have not tested this at all, as you can tell by my reaction to that. I don't know how rough this one is going to be. I know last time I was like, oh, it might be rough, but it ran perfectly well. This one is obviously more graphically intensive uh, since the other, from the other games. So, I'm not sure. Like, uh, what happened with X and Y? I think it, like, it had problems when we started sending out Pokemon. But then afterwards it kind of went fine. I don't know if the simulator, like, works as it keeps going on, you know what I mean? But like I said before, as you'll see, not only are the models more detailed, like human models in this game, they do some other extra stuff with battles and Z-moves, as we'll see, so... Yeah, like before, I guess we'll just see what happens. I am totally expecting this one to crash on us maybe once or twice. Uh, I'm also, as you can tell, not reading. I know I said I would read the dialogue to these eventually for people's viewing pleasure, but I'm going to be honest, I don't want to do that. Okay, looks like we're going to get that sometimes during cutscenes, it's fine. There aren't many of these. Um, I, I don't really want to do that because I... Listen, I found something out by playing all these Pokemon games and watching all this Pokemon anime and stuff. I care a lot less about Pokemon than I thought, you know? Like, I love the concept and the design, but like, it was nicer when it was like, you know, you get like a main game every couple years and I play that and you get spit off every year or two years or so, you know? That was fun. But, man, playing them back to back, I'm fucking getting sick of Pokemon, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, which, yeah, is my own fault, I know. But it's just, it's just really unmotivated me to keep playing this. I'm probably going to take a break from Pokemon games after this. Like, maybe, maybe for you, it won't be a break. You'll probably see me play through. What's the next one I'm doing after this? Streaming anyway? It's either going to be Let's Go or Pokemon Shield. It's going to be one of those, but... Yeah, I'm probably going to take a break after that, because... I, I, I just need some time away from Pokemon for a while, man. I am almost done the anime, and by almost, I mean I'm at around episode 900 or something. So, getting there, I'm getting close to finishing it. Where the hell is my house? Is it that one? Uh, so I also just don't care about the stories of this. This one is the most story-intensive game so far. Like, you thought, you thought X and Y was linear and had a lot of cutscenes? Get, get, get fucking ready, if this works. Uh, there's gonna be so much of that. Because this is, a. Uh, would honestly say without them, though, this Pokemon game would be really short. I guess. So they probably needed it. Because otherwise, this game would be over in a couple hours. But yeah, it's much like Gen 3. We're moving to a new region here. Which I think we are from the Kanto region, specifically. There's that Wii U. The greatest console of all time. I do remember... I don't know if it's the... Yeah, I want to get off my outside room. Uh, the island vibes, like, of the music. I do really love, like, the first town when we get to it, that music. Really nice. 
I think I used it a couple times in some of my videos. Here's our normal Meowth, our Cantonian Meowth. Uh, let me make sure. It's kind of that fast. All this stuff is fun. But when you catch Pokemon, your party's going to do the same shit. Oh, you can keep it in your party? That's kind of neat. I think that's the first time that's happened, right? I mean, it looks like, yeah, when it's not a cutscene, it looks like it run runs fine. I guess we'll see, because this one... I mean, I don't know, maybe Ultra Sun and Moon will work not as well. So, Perger, are you pumped to be small in Pokemon? You bet I am, Mom. So yeah, I'm going to be kind of breezing through this dialogue. I'll give you a general rundown. But yeah, we just moved here, and then Professor Kui just fucking thrusts a Pokemon journey on us, and we just got here, man. Kind of similar to Gen 3, actually. I guess space space on Hawaii. Can't tell. Like, what places haven't they done? I guess, like, they haven't done, like, a German region, I guess, or, uh... They just did one that's, uh, Spain. With, um... Uh, why am I forgetting? It's Scarlet and Violet. Is it that one was Sword and Shield? Oh yeah, that was like England. That was British. Uh, the UK, I guess you could say. So yeah, they haven't done like a German one. Where they're not going to do an Africa one. I don't think they're going to do that. Well, there's that. Uh, what other countries have they not done? Russia, I guess. Uh, China. They haven't done a China one. Or close it here. Oh, my bag and hat. They haven't done... Most of the, actually, well, weren't all the early ones? Yeah, I think Gen 1 through 3. No, 1 through 4 were all based on, like, Japanese areas, right? I think so. And then 5 was when they actually went somewhere else with uh, the American region. Kalos was France, right? And here we have Hawaii. Uh, then Legends Arceus kind of went back to Japan. So yeah, there's a, there's a couple ones I haven't done. I wonder what the next one they would do. Australia, New New Zealand Pokemon. There's a lot of options. Italy, or does Kalos count as that? It'd be kind of cool to see one that's like a whole region where it's like has the waterways and stuff like that. Oh, what? That was weird. I couldn't move for like a second, and then now all of a sudden I can move. So yeah, we show up in town, and they're like, I'm gonna make this very brief, because they don't make these brief. Like, not, not gonna lie, I watched a playthrough of this. Oh, like a speedrun uh, of this before playing it, because I didn't remember, I remember a lot of it. Like, in terms of, like, I don't remember being locked so much to, like, an eight-way grid. That's weird, considering uh, X and Y wasn't when you used the circle pad. You can't use the D-pad at all, that's interesting. Oh, right, I think the D pad is used for the uh, ride Pokemon. You're loving a little already? I mean, I guess I just got here. Yeah, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm sorry, I'm very tired. What the hell was I talking about? Right, the, uh. No, I totally forgot. Anyways, Pikachu. Oh, right, I was watching a speed one, right? Uh. Yeah, I just remember watching a lot of cutscenes and not the person who played that much. When they did play, they were just skipping trainers like usual. Because I'm not going to lie, if I wasn't skipping through this, this first part would probably be like a whole hour of just me reading things, and I don't want that. Like, this is when Pokemon games start taking a while to get to the beginning, you know? Unfortunately. Like, actually, I actually don't remember Sword and Shield's beginning. Oh yeah, we go through like the forest and stuff, but I don't think that takes too long. Scarlet and Violet though, geez, it takes, it takes an hour for you to actually be able to go around and explore. And here again, like I said, this is also very linear, linear like X and Y. As you'll see, there's not really much room to explore. And the islands are very small.
Oh, but there she is. The best character in all of Pokemon. Like, no, no joke or anything there. You know, it sounds like because I'm not putting much motion in my voice, but they, she, Lily, at least in terms of the games, I'll say. I'm still watching through the Sun and Moon anime, so I don't... Uh, she's fine in that, I guess, from where I'm at, but in the game specifically, and we'll see this, like, way later down the line, like, towards the end game, she becomes, like, one of the very few characters in Pokemon that gets actual development. In my opinion, she is one of... Like, she is the best character. Like, we're gonna see she has an actual arc. They do carry that over in Sword and Shield, which is good. In terms of, like, rivals having stuff. Although it's not really a rival in this. And then I think in, um... I don't remember, but, like, I think it's because one thing one people wanted was that... You don't get to, like, battle her in this game, but I think in... Ultra Sun and Moon, they did put a battle in with her post-game, or, like, towards the end. If I remember right. I guess I'll see when I replay it. Because the thing is, I'm like X and Y. Like I said, with X and Y, right? Like, I only played those games once. Games once. Sun and Moon, kind of, sort of, because I played through Moon. Oh, wait, well, I'm not looking for items. I don't really have that yet. I played through Moon once, and then, of course, like, I think... You know, pretty soon, right? It was like a year, or like a year and a half after Sun and Moon. They released Ultra Sun and Moon, which is essentially... Uh, the same game. But it... It's, like, more focused on the Ultra Beast. There is, like, some extra stuff. There's, like, some new characters, things like that, of course. But it's 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 more or less the same game. You know? Like, it hits a lot of the same beats and things like that. I do remember there's, like, some cutscenes and stuff being different. Like, I think here, by this point, you have your starter Pokemon from Ultra Sun and Moon, from what I remember. But overall, it's pretty much the same. Like, it's the same region layout, from what I remember. Like, same area. It's not, like, Black and White 2 where, uh, it's, you know, uh, completely different story and things like that. Like, it's essentially the same story, just slightly differently retold. So it's kind of, in that vein, it's kind of similar to, like, the third version, like, Emerald or Platinum, uh, Crystal, you know, same overall beats and things, just, like, maybe a slight difference in the new Legendary new things like that. I think in terms of that game, it's just more Ultra Beasts. Probably new Legendary too. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, and you get, like, Ultra or Super Forms of Soul Galio and... Luna Luna, I think they're called. Like some super forbs or whatever. Anyways, yeah, that was Top Coco the Guardian. I think you can only catch those guys post-game. I don't think you can get them in between. I don't remember. But I do know you can catch all the island guardians. There's four per island. One per island for four. But yeah, like I said, it's uh, thir 13 minutes in. Haven't even gotten our Pokemon yet. That's why I'm kind of kind of rushing through this dialogue. Because otherwise, we would be here all day. I mean, I'm reading it. I assume you're reading it too. And uh, you know, it's a Pokemon game. It's not like every line of dialogue is the most well-written thing ever. <laughs> that pay attention to. It's about following your Pokemon. Like, is it, this is when you can tell Pokemon's becoming more like a JRPG. Because they do that thing, which I hate, where it is, like, in between the cutscenes to make it feel like you're still playing the game around just watching cutscenes. They give you, like, five seconds of control of your character to move to the next cutscene, just to make sure you're paying attention. I hate that so much. It's like, just put it, just make it go if you want, alright? Just give me the cutscenes. I hate that illusion. Or, or actually space it out properly, you know? Like, give me some actual gameplay. So yeah, we, uh, we meet this girl Lily, she's got this weird Pokemon called Cosmog that she calls Nebby. Just as we saw her in the beginning, she was clearly escaping from someplace. Where could that be? Who knows? We'll probably never go there. And saved it, she's like, thanks. And now I mean the Kahuna is going to give us our starter Pokemon. Kahuna Hala. Hala? Hala. Okay, so... 
I've mentioned this before, but I usually go with Fire-type Pokemon as my starters, which I did when I played this. I used Litten and got Incineroar, the future Smash character. Uh, um, and here's the thing, considering last game, like in terms of me streaming this, you know, uh, oh wait, did I use, we used Empoleon, right? Uh, I'm choosing Poppy. Because when I played Oras, I used Blaziken. In black and white, I used, uh, what did I use? Oh yeah, I used Superior, the glass, the grass type. Like in terms of like the streaming ones I streamed. Oh right, your Pokemon has to like come to you or whatever. So I figured it's time for me to use the water type. It's just been a while. Oh yeah, and I used a uh, Pig Knight when I played Black and White 2, which you didn't see. So it's been a while since I've used a water starter is what I'm saying. So we're going to go with Poplio. I'm fairly sure if I remember, it evolves into like a it's water, it's pure water type now, and I think in its second form, its middle form, and then it becomes water fairy. I think all the stars are like that. <laughs> Lily looks like she's like, what the hell? Actually, when did stars start doing that in Gen three? No, because the only one that did that was Blade. No, wait, Sceptile didn't become... Yeah, Sceptile was the only one... It stayed, like, pure grass, right? Yeah, what the hell? Because you got firefighting and then... Oh, I don't get to nickname it? Oh, okay. About to say. Mayon. For our murder. Yeah, I didn't... I feel like I never thought about that. Yeah, Sceptile doesn't get a second type, because... You got Marsh Tomp, who becomes water ground and blaze can fire fighting and you just have regular grass septile that kind of sucks and then gen 4 get firefighting again because they really love firefighting happens in gen 5 too um water seal with napoleon and then grass ground and gen 5 you get firefighting again like i said uh what they say go back to my mom i think Uh, wait, what was I talking about? Gen 5, right? Firefighting. And then I think, isn't Samurott? Because I'm so pure is pure grass from what I remember, because we used it. Oh yeah, here's how. And then I think, yeah, I think Samurott's just pure water, right? I don't think they've got a second type. I mean, they're a little bit firefighting types. Thanks. Whoa, did... Was it just me or did Lily, like, pop out of existence or part of her first... Oh god. Yeah, there's definitely some glitching going on for a second. Anyways, yeah, this is Hal. I think he's like the nephew or something of Hala. Uh, well, oh god. Okay, well we got parts of characters appearing in and out of existence, but it looks like the battling is fine. Oh wow, I don't remember this UI at all. What the hell? I just watched the playthrough. Of it. Wow, okay. Uh, as I was gonna say, that per goes appropriately to what I was gonna say that uh, how was the start of the uh, quote unquote super nice, super lame rivals? Because uh, the next time we have Hop. Oh yeah, and then, then let's go Pikachu and Eevee to give you that guy whose name I don't remember. He's not blue, so he sucks. Uh, then what else? Scarlet. Well, Scarlet and Violet, they're fun. What's her name? Uh, forget, I forget her name. Who's the chick that's like fucking obsessed with you? It's Scarlet and Violet. Who really wants to battle you? She's funny, so I don't really care about her. <clears throat> and then, what am I missing? Legends Arceus? Well, you don't really have a Well, I guess it's like the Professor Assistant, like, Gen 4. But yeah, I'm, I'm just not a fan of how He's very... I don't have a problem with him. He's just very... He's like a... He's like Barry and Hugh in Black and White 2. Uh, they're just very forgettable. Like, they just don't got a lot going on, you know? <laughs> There's not... Like, what, what you see is what you get. How's like... How was a fun-loving idiot? That's... That's this whole thing. You know? No more, no less. 
So yeah, anyways, uh, when the Guardian saved us, he dropped like a thing, which was like a big stone or whatever, they said, it's like, whoa, why did you get the stone? And they're like, oh, that's crazy, you gotta give it to me for a second, I'll turn it into something cool for you later. And they're like, okay, I don't know what that's about. Like, honestly, the most I... My biggest memory of HAL was just, uh... In a lot of the starter decks around this time, when I played the Pokemon TCG Online. You know, had a bunch of HAL cards, which I think, like... I think that was, like, the draw three or whatever. Then a lot of, like, sample starter decks or whatever. That's the most I remember about him. Everything else is a blur in this game. everything. Oh, it's sunset now? So I did, um, I have done this thing because I'm emulating it. I actually didn't realize it was sunset. So it's not always nighttime. I am kind of manipulating the time. Uh, so I made it like daytime during my Oras playthrough. But I, think, I think it switched to like sunset by this time, so that's fine. It looks nice. I can change it next time. So one good thing with this peak effect showing too that this gen started introducing in all games in the future, I think except for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which like we'll get to that, uh, is that it... No wait, does Let's Go Pikachu... No, they get rid of that too. They get rid of HM is what I press it. So now you don't need to have a water type to use three HMs like Waterfall and Dive, and, which I just had in Oras, which was really annoying. Again, I forgot all about, I forgot all about that for some reason. And you don't need, if you don't need a flying type for fly, you don't need some Pokemon that can use strength or cut or whatever, which is fantastic. You'll see what they replace it with. If you've never seen this game, but it's definitely one of the best decisions Pokemon made. I'm so glad they got rid of HMs. Fuck them. They were so annoying. And the fact that you always needed a flying type and a water type in the game because you needed fly for fast travel and you needed a water type just to progress. It was so annoying. Obviously, we have a water type, but that's besides the point. So, with that said, I don't know what Pokemon I'm going to catch, honestly. I don't remember- I do know one, or possibly two. Uh, I want Alolan Muck, and I'll probably get Alolan Exeggutor, just because Grass Dragon is cool and I think it's a funny looking Pokemon. And I guess we'll catch this just to have some kind of flying type, just for some coverage and extra stuff. And I think I'm going to stick with Poplio. I don't want to use the, just the generic, you know. Uh, flying type, you know what I mean? A Pidgey. Oh well. Oh my god, again? Okay, Meon, calm down. We gotta catch something. But yeah, kinda like with, uh, what I do with X and Y and Black and White when we first started, I'm just gonna, like, run in, like, the first two or three Pokemon, see if it's something I want, and then we'll use Repel when we get- Wow, I'm still technically in the grass. Okay, grass hitboxes are pretty big. Oh, a Ladybug? I mean, sure, why not? We haven't used one yet. That's interesting, I didn't know. I don't remember... I, again, I don't remember a lot of the Pokemon you can get around this time. Oh, they can do that thing, I saw that. L plus A, move info. Is that how it always was? I, I always knew there was a way to do that. No, way to got a lot of special defense. I mean, it's that green, so... This should do it. Unless it's a range. Well, we'll probably want to do another one. Yeah, I'm actually super down to use a ladybug. That's fine. Bug flying? I don't know what that covers. I'm not really thinking about... Oh, shit. It's a child. Hey, you know what, actually? Let's try to catch one before we fight the trainer battle to give it some experience. I know we got the EXP share a little bit. Like, not too long after this. What I remember. There's no gyms in this game. We don't get it after the first gym. We'll see what they replace it with. Wait, the super effective thing started here? Yeah, that wasn't an X and Y, right? I don't remember it. 
mean, honestly, I could probably go Pokeball with me at this range, right? No, here. Oh, this is the one that started, uh... Where you can just press Y button to use the Pokeball, you know, to go. It's like there's a specific Pokeball button, which is good. screen because I I didn't catch them all in this game because like I said I own I own Sun and Moon at the time so I did do that. They are timid and grow uneasy when not in a swarm with others of their kind. The pattern on their backs differs slightly from one to another. Is that I wonder if that actually happens on their model it's one of those Pokemon. Action. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. It. It's like it's so not intimidating. I love it. Uh, what do we call the Eva? Oh, no, that's not true. I thought that was backspace. <laughs> We're gonna have G. Um... Kirby? It looks like a Kirby to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, sure. Oh, it involves, I guess. Nah, Gerby's cool. It just looks like a Gerby. Look at it. That looks like a Gerby. Oh, look, we got all this stuff. Oh, yeah, Pokemon Refresh has like the Ami. Wait, this one I can. So, actually, look at I probably look at my Pokemon now. It's something I keep forgetting to do. So, Debug Flying Tackle. The words there. Oh, I didn't realize it was in that. Uh, so yeah, it does have a lot of special defense and speed. Oh, it doesn't do the thing anymore where it tells you what the nature is, because I don't know nature is hardy, unless... Okay, yeah, this is just too cool. And so that's... So Brave, I assume that's plus... Or is that plus attack? I always forget, is red plus? I always assume red is bad. I'm gonna assume we're plus... Well, either of those don't really matter for us, so I don't think it matters. Uh, oh yeah, what was its ability? Early board for That means it can't wait, right? Wait, it's twice as fast when getting sleep. I didn't see what moves it had. Let's get into our first trainer fight. Oh yeah, so I think... I don't think I want anything else here, because I think around here you can just find, like, Ratatata and Young Moose, things like that. Did we have a bug move? Are we super effective against this? No, we just had a tackle. This is low on health. Just a switch. Easy. Get out of my face, kid. Ten years too early. There we go. Let's try to get to level five before we stop switching out. And then we'll wait till we get the EXP share. Or we can just do this on its own. Wait, did I... Did he give me potions, too? Oh, I have five. I have five ones? Huh. Show you my sister. Is that what she said? Like I do like this. I like the way they introduced the trainers here, where they like uh, earn that like cutout type uh, thing, like you know the past games did, but it's their 3D model. I love that. I don't think they continue it after this, right? I think Sword and Shield they do something different. And then I think in a uh... oh yeah, I guess we're not a special attacker, but it's Cavalry, so we should be fine. I'm trying to remember what Let's Go does. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just like their 3D models doing the poses that the old mock build like sprites did. 
think uh, Point of Diamond Triangle is the same thing. And then, uh, yeah, I think Sword and Shield, it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that stylized thing anymore. I think it just... Yeah, I think it just does, like, what it does now with Scarlet Violet, where it's just, like, a introduction with their 3D models, which is boring. I like the Kit Blue Ring Rice I more like the stylized way they do it in this game. I guess what I think, I think this game, honestly, especially compared to X and Y, I think has better, like, design, I guess. Wow, I can't remember anymore. Uh, not really design. And I, I don't want to say UI, because I'm not talking about the UI specifically. And I don't want to say graphic design, either, because that's not right. You know what I mean? It has just better style, I guess, just the general sense. And X and Y, which is probably one of the reasons I remember it more. Because X and Y, I don't know why. It just doesn't... It's just not memorable to me, the way it looks and everything. I mean, the game is running fine. Which is surprising. I still expected something to fuck up, but so far we're doing alright. Like, I like that transition. The background looks nice. The sunset. Or dust. No, this isn't dust. This is a dust color. Can you see me from here? Oh my god, I can't. Oh, that kid's got good eyesight. Pokemon who I only remember just because it's a ball form looked like uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> I think that was the only reason people paid attention to it. And why are all the loud cars going by right now? Alright, looks like uh, Kirby might take a while before it gets good. Maybe everything just has too much defense. Seems far I'm doing fine. Supersonic. It's not a move I wanted, but I guess that's what we got. Somewhere. Another Gerby. So I think we're gonna fight Hal now. From what I remember. Unless that's an Ultra Moon thing. I guess this was the one I played last. It's probably the one I remember the most. So I think at this point you also meet the Ultra Beast people. Like these fucking weirdos. Oh yeah, we fight him in this festival. How's it? This <laughs> is the command zone podcast. Yeah, this is 30 minutes. Oh, oh yeah, this that's another thing I remember about this game. This is when uh, they start doing that this thing where they just like heal you all the time. I think it's I think it's the most here. I think Sword and Shield they tone it down. I don't think they do it a lot in Scarlet and Violet because it's like a because it's that's more open world, so it's just like heal them when you can. Worm stands burger, one who was met with Tapu Koko. 
There's no fries on the side of that. Wait, Lady, but its name is Kirby, Mom. Okay, don't you call her by her slave name. Emilia doesn't really, really doesn't like how it bangs. All right, does this beat you up static? If so, we're cooked. Or if it has any electric loop, because we are part flying, I think. At this point, yeah, I think I think it starts off flying. Right? Yeah. I should know. I did check it out. All right, no static yet. Fuck. All right. Uh. Confuse it. Son of a bitch, how? Oh my god, okay, I might just have to switch out because I'm gonna be doing no damage now. Yeah, alright, yeah. Hey, what are these plus? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this was actually awesome. Yeah, it tells you like what stats they've lost, what status conditions, their ability, if you know it. Oh yeah, that's cool. I completely forgot about that. I think that's still in the game. I just think I don't think I ever used it though. Of course, like this always happens. I'm confused. I hit myself every time. I confuse my opponent. This is why I always get rid of them. They never. I never get hit by it. It's ridiculous. Come on, once. Thank you. This should kill it? No, I think that's our first turn in Disarmed Voice. Oh yeah, because it's just fire now. It's not dark yet. Because I was wondering. I was like, why is it not dark? Alright, get out of my face, Hal. Alright, level 9. <laughs> Coco, go, go. I'll me some burgers. Hear that? He loves you, burger. No, I think he, I think he was just talking about. I think he just went to like a food joint or whatever. Whoa, it's our Z ring. So I'm gonna be real. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of Z moves. I think they're kind of gimmicky, you know. Mega evolution, I like. Because that's like an actual power up. But his E move is like so specific. The island challenge. Four islands. We'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Ola region. The island challenge is about even the strongest trainer, the island challenge champion. So, yeah, if they don't have a Pokemon League here, they have the island challenge. So, it is different than gym leaders, you'll see. Which I, I I'm going to be honest, I like. I kind of wish they would mix it up more with the gyms and like do it like this and just get rid of them and try something new, you know? Like, I like the gyms and everything in the Hall of Fame. But mixing it up every now and then for Pokemon is fine. Like, you know, having a different goal. Like, essentially, it is the same, like I said. Uh, going around to these locations, fighting these type-specific enemies or whatever. But having it different than the Pokemon League, just by saying that, is enough for me, you know? Anyways, yeah, Z-moves, so uh... I, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't know. They're just not very interesting to me, it's just... I mean, you'll see it. We do a stupid pose, we do a stupid attack, and then that's it. That's that's all it is. And then, like, in the next game, they just... 
mix Mega Evolution and Z-Moves with Dynamaxing. It's kind of like both have the same effect in one, in one thing. Oh yeah, and then ter Terrestalizing is the next thing. I think they should just keep Mega Evolution. I really think Mega Evolution should have stayed around, man. I don't like the fact that future games don't really have it. Because they, they bring it back in, uh... Um... What you would call it? Uh, fucking... Let's go, is what I was trying to say. Because at the spoilers at the end of that game, they had a new one, a Mega Pidgeot, which is awesome. So, like, they need, they need to keep it around. Mega Evolution is great. Obviously, they still like it. They had an extra one. Like, I just think it's such a good idea just giving, like, a temporary superpower Pokemon, and it only works for one. That's the, that's the thing that's great. It only works for one. Z-Moves, I'm pretty sure as long as it has, like, the Z-Crystal, you can use it as many times as you want. I think. I don't remember much. We'll see when we actually get it. And who knows, maybe maybe you're playing this, I'll turn around on them. But from what I remember, I don't I don't really like them that much. I don't remember getting into them. And we gotta go to Kakui's lab now. So you just thinking about repels? Why are you going to hide Nebby? Do I even have any repels on me? I assume someone gave them anyway when I was talking about Z movies or whatever. Ah. I was gonna say, oh, Wingle, but then it's like, no, wait, Wingle makes perfect sense to be in the Alola region. Oh, jeez, now the, the wild Pokemon are already outclassing their new. That's not good. Seriously? Okay, let's, uh... I think we need um, one of the future things to go up there. We all can't be the only thing. Around here. I mean, I assume it's all the same Pokemon we've seen before, just plus Wing Roll. God, let me out. Let me be somebody else that's not a Wing Roll or something you haven't seen before. Did we get Slowpoke this early? That is awesome. I don't remember that. Anyways, nah. Because I'd much rather use Slowking, which I can't do, and I have used one before in my, uh... Wait, did I use one? No, that was when I played Heart Gold, I'm pretty sure. That's when I used Slowking. But did I? I, I definitely used Slowking at some point. I think it was Heart Gold. Yeah, because I remember getting a King's Rock. Yeah, because it wasn't... It wasn't Crystal, and it didn't happen when I played Gold and Silver. I'm pretty sure it was when I was playing Heart Gold. Maybe. I'd have to check the footage. Maybe I'll use a... What is it? Is it Galar region? Is that the Sword and Shield one? Galar, Galarian Slowpoke? I think so. Oh, whoa. Alright, I, I think, uh... Yeah, it looks like this one's gonna have more graphical hiccups than the last one, but that's fine. As long as it's working. Oh yeah, this is the start of all the Rotom stuff. Rotom? I think in the anime they call it Rotom. So yeah, and this one is the Rotom Dex. I think in the next one it's just the bike, right? It's just Rotom Bike. And what's it in Scarlet and Violet? I think it's the phone 
Yeah, Wotom clone. This is the start of Wotom possessing all your electronics. So this thing is a straight-up character in the anime. It's like, it's not annoying or anything, it's just like, just why? I do like the fact that there's a map now on the bottom screen. I always appreciate DS games that do that. I know it's like one of the most default things a DS can do is just have the map on the bottom screen, but trust me, it's very useful. They do it all the time for a reason. There's only seven trials? Yeah, there's more than that, right? I know there's, I know there's not that many Z- Like, I know we get some Z-Crystal not in the trial, but still. Come on, let me out of here. This place is falling apart, man. Do you see what's happening in the background of your house, Kui? Or oh, yeah, I should call him Sycamore. Complete the joke, I guess. Alright, time to go to school. I think that's where we catch Grimer, too, from what I remember. I think that's the earliest place we can get it. That's what I remember, anyway. We also need faster Pokemon, apparently. I think that's because I think that's how running away is determined by your speed. Hey. I want to get out of here, and I don't want to fight that kid. Uh, uh, are we going all this around here, and then I guess an occasional slowpoke? Oh my god! Get out! Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> Fuck's sake, I swear to god, don't. Okay. Fucking Wingle. I thought he got something when talking to this guy. Ah, uh, yes, communication. So I might as well heal that 2 HP I got. That stupid Wingle. Oh, well, let's buy some calls just so we're not annoyed by that for a while. I have 30,000 on me already? Jeez. Oh, I should save. Something else I could also do. It seems so fast compared to like the DS games. Oh, yeah. Fast. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess all this unlocked because I'm in the first Pokemon Center. I forgot about the Festival Plaza. We're never doing that. And then let me also get the save state just in case. 